Welcome to part two of this Football Manager 2018 experiment where we're trying to see if Tunisia can win the 2018 World Cup with Messi and Ronaldo. In part one we did five simulations, we saw Tunisia miraculously manage to reach the semis and finish fourth, dragged into the semi-finals by Ronaldo because Messi was either injured or performed very badly at that particular World Cup. Ronaldo got loads of goals, 18 goals in the five simulations. Messi was pretty creative, got a hat-trick of assists in the fourth simulation, seven in total. Not so many goals unless he's playing behind Ronaldo. The tactic that Tunisia are employing is all about the, the main man up front and Ronaldo has benefited as a result. So in the sixth simulation, we've seen Japan reach the final of the World Cup. They lost 2-0 against Uruguay, but this is pretty bizarre, really. Suarez getting the two goals to end Japan's dreams, but this is... Wow. I mean, we didn't see Japan... I don't think we saw Japan win the World Cup in my 1000 simulations. Maybe they might have won it once. Might be wrong. Can't quite remember off the top of my head. But that is very impressive of Japan reaching the final. Tunisia missed out, unfortunately. They finished third in the group of four points, missing out on goal difference to England. They, they beat Panama 2-1, but it wasn't really a big enough scoreline to beat Panama by. A 2-2 draw against England and a 3-1 defeat against Belgium. But let's see how Messi and Ronaldo performed then. So Ronaldo scored two against Panama in the second minute and 35th minute. Then against Belgium, Messi got the goal, but in the end it was just a consolation goal. Belgium went 3-0 up very early on. And then against England, Ronaldo scored two, penalty, uh, two goals, one of which was a late penalty to get a point, but that wasn't good enough to get through from the groups, unfortunately. I think they probably played the same tactic. Yep, Messi playing behind Ronaldo. They, they love this three-man attacking midfield, don't they, with two midfielders. I suppose they get the, the full-backs bombing up the wings and it, crossing it into Ronaldo, and that's probably how he's scoring a lot of goals, to be fair. So in the seventh simulation, Colombia beat Belgium on penalties to win this World Cup. So Belgium went through from Tunisia's group. Did Tunisia manage to get out of the group, though? Let's have a look and see. They did. They finished second behind Belgium, meaning England were knocked out. Tunisia defeated England 2-1 and beats Panama 6-2. Wow. What a win that is. Um, I mean, that's what they should be doing. They need to be getting goals against Panama to be going through to the second round. Where, unfortunately, they lost against the eventual winners, Colombia 5. No absolute thrashing, I'm afraid. Ronaldo didn't play very well up front. Uh, a lot of the team let them down. Messi was the best performer of the starters anyway but an impressive group stage from Tunisia it's a shame they, they went out in the, the second round against a very strong Colombia team six goals against Panama we saw Ronaldo get two Messi get one excellent performances from the players two red cards for Panama really didn't help though did it two no defeat against Belgium that just wasn't their day Ronaldo 6.1 it certainly wasn't his day but against England he scored two goals and once again a penalty from him helping Tunisia reach the second round of the tournament and tactically once again Messi played behind Ronaldo as you can see there. On to the eighth simulation then and England defeated France 3-0 in the final. I, I'm kind of thinking that Tunisia were knocked out here because I can see Belgium and England featuring in the uh, stats so I don't think it bodes well for Tunisia unfortunately. This part two might not be as successful as that part one Tunisia finished bottom of the group, really bad. Actually, that's the only the second time they have finished bottom of the group. They drew against Belgium, but defeats against Panama, 1-0, and England, 3-2. Just wasn't good enough from them, was it? Really poor stuff. Messi and Ronaldo scored against Belgium, and Ronaldo scored twice against England. But, yep, it wasn't a good enough performance from them. Maybe, once again, it's tactics. I know they, got, they finished fourth with this tactic, but that was without Messi. Perhaps they need to get the best out of Messi. They need to play Messi on the on the wide right, I think. He's not playing in the position he would prefer to play, and that's for sure. You know, he can play attacking midfield, of course, but he'd rather play there or up front as, you know, a false nine type thing. But to play attacking midfield with two other attacking midfielders, I just don't think you're getting the best out of Messi as a result. They need to be spreading the play out wide and getting Messi drifting in from the right. That's what I would do anyway, but... And it, we have seen Messi be a little bit disappointed in this experiment, to be honest. He's not got goals because Ronaldo's grabbing all of them from that striker position. And he's just a little bit anonymous. Sweden have won the World Cup again. 2-0 win against Germany. Impressive stuff from them. They beat Brazil previously and they've 
they've won it again in this ninth simulation, the penultimate simulation of this experiment. Unfortunately, Tunisia missed out. They finished third. They did get a win against Panama, 4-0 win, really good win. But a 2-2 draw against England wasn't good enough to get them out of the group after a 5-0 defeat against Belgium. They were just far too strong for them. Once again, the same tactics employed by Tunisia. But, yeah, impressive 4-0. Messi scored. Ronaldo scored a penalty against Belgium. They were very disappointing. 6.1 from Ronaldo, really poor. And, once again, another penalty from Ronaldo against England. 94th minute red card from Tunisia. It didn't really matter. It was right at the end of the game, but... Yeah, disappointed from Messi, 6.2. He's just not playing very well for this Tunisia team, unfortunately. And we've got one more simulation to see if Tunisia can, can can do a little bit better than that they have done in this part two and improve upon a fourth place finish in part one. Argentina have managed to win another World Cup without Messi, beating Croatia 4-2 after extra time. Poor old Messi missing out on these World Cup victories. But this bodes well. Ronaldo, eight goals, joint top goal scorer. He didn't get the golden boot because he only got one assist compared to Neymar's two. But perhaps they've gone quite far in this tournament as a result. Let's have a look to see. So, in the group stages, they topped the group with nine points, scoring ten goals in the process, winning all three games. Excellent performance from Tunisia. Second round then, they lost against Poland on penalties. Oh, Tunisia, so close. So close yet so far. And Messi got injured in this game. He's, oh, he's Why is he so injury prone? And he was playing central midfield rather than attacking midfield. Why have they gone back to doing that? Well, I don't know. Well, maybe it got them out of the group in top spot. Possibly, I don't know. Let's have a look then see things in a bit more detail. As you can see, they're playing in that central midfield role. They certainly had injury problems, didn't they, by the looks of it? But what a win against Panama. 6-2. Ronaldo with three. Messi with two. Both of them coming together and performing brilliantly. 2-0 win against... Belgium, thanks to uh, a goal from Ronaldo. 2-1 win against England with Ronaldo getting both of the goals. And then against Poland, he scored both goals as well. So he played magnificently well in this tournament once again. He scored so many goals in this experiment. We'll have a look at the spreadsheet in a second. But, yeah, I, I feel like Tunisia have done all right. They've, they've managed to qualify from their group four times, which is certainly an improvement upon the real World Cup simulations that I did. Four out of 10 times is actually pretty good, but I was hoping that they would be able to reach a final after that very good part one with the fifth simulation. It just wasn't to be in the end. So this is how it ends after the 10 simulations. Of course, the best performance was fourth place in that fifth simulation. Messi, goals-wise, was poor. The best he managed was in that last simulation of two. But we know the reasons why. He's not playing up front like Ronaldo is. Ronaldo got 40 goals in 10 simulations. That's an average of four every tournament then, which is not bad going at all. And he got eight goals in two tournaments, which is fabulous. Five assists. Wasn't particularly creative throughout this experiment, but it, that wasn't his job. His job was to put the ball in the back of the net. Messi got quite a few assists, but he was sharing those assists with his other attacker midfield creators, wasn't he? He wasn't the only attacking midfield player, which is why perhaps... He wasn't as creative as he could have been, but was quite consistent. There was only one simulation where he didn't pick up an assist. Eight goals, you know, not, not great compared to Saudi Arabia. Messi preferred playing with Saudi Arabia in terms of goal score, but certainly with assists, he's been much better with Tunisia. Ronaldo has absolutely loved playing for Tunisia, hasn't he? 40 goals, which is double what he managed with Saudi Arabia. So Tunisia overall have done better than Saudi Arabia, but we're still not quite there. I'm going to try Australia next. I think there's something in that. I reckon, I don't know, I have a feeling that they could do something with Australia, but maybe I'll be completely wrong on their, their flop completely. But I uh, hope you're looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed this experiment. Please leave a like if you did. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.